to Gemini. Ba, ba, ba. It is time for your mid-April to May reading. And this current year is going to be a Thunderdome. So I'm reading for two of you, right? Or technically eight of you, because you guys have like multiple personalities. So I know there's at least seven in there, and then there's one person you're dealing with. That was a joke. But not really, because sometimes it is like dealing with multiple people at once. But it doesn't mean that you guys aren't fun. I think that's what makes Gemini so enjoyable, because it's like a whole bunch of people in one person. You just gotta make sure not to piss off the wrong one. <laughs> uh, and seriously, sometimes it seems like you guys, like, I don't know, I have a friend who's a Gemini who's like, totally cool, but then it's like, sometimes it's like, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like I irritate her. Then again, I'm a Capricorn, so it makes sense why I do. Anyway. This is for, oops, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? So if this resonates with you, cool beans. If not, don't worry about it. You're trying to have a lot of patience when it comes to um, a burden you're dealing with. So let's see what group one deals with. Okay, group one. We have for you... Six of Cups Reverse. Looking back on some bad shit from the past. I usually be like, you know, taking things from the past and going to... No, this is like you're looking back at things and you're just being like... Mm. Like, you can see this has something to do with the kids. This is definitely childhood stuff. This is definitely looking back at memories. But I definitely feel like it's not good memories. Um, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, in the Wants and Wishes, a Queen of Pentacles in the Fears and Rejections. That could definitely be a Capricorn. Uh, but both of them could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? Um, situation. You are just mentally tormented and losing sleep over it. Um, and it could be possible your Gemini might be um, quite nettled in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. And here we have Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's a lot of people's faces on this, man. What did I just say about, like, you guys and... Yeah. She is definitely, like, okay. Queen of Cups in this situation. She's not entirely emotionally manipulative. As much as she's putting on a show to get something she wants. Like, this is fake emotion. Like, yeah, it looks like her cup is dripping, but the cup is upside down. So it's not really got anything it's not overflowing as she's pretending it is um she's trying to act motherly but in reality it's just kind of like mm. i don't know man like i i wouldn't trust her oh beginning theme patience because that was the one that was actually on the bottom have patience sagittarius Communicate, come together as one, understand each other. Right? Earth signs. Oh, I'm so glad you changed your name back because it, it was really hard to remember her real name. I'm sorry. Um, you do. I watch other tarot card readers, right? <laughs> I would hope so. Alright, so Gemini. Let's look into. Well, not Gemini, but group one. Let's look into yours, right? We got. Six of Cups, there might be something from the past you're looking at with, like, scrutiny. Defi because it's definitely, like, bothering you in your head, right? Like, something from the back in the day is just bothering you or you don't know what it is. Something that was under illusions that are now coming out as, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like, the illusions are dissolving. Could be with a Cancer or a Pisces, right? Those water signs. Hmm. Always water. Um... Oops, there's one right over here, so it could be with a Cancer or a Pisces for sure. Ah, uh, and she and the Queen of Pentacles are both, like, facing different places. As is the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. But yeah, someone's definitely coming out of illusions that, like, of what happened back in the day that dealt with either past childhood issues that were possibly traumatic or just something back in the day that just traumatized you to a point where you look back on it and you're just like, hmm, I remember how this scenario went. Why should I fall for this again? One of those things, right? 
Nine of Swords Reverse. You're feeling mentally tortured. You're feeling like the feeling like unhappy. Oh my god, I wish I had a catcher to catch my cards so I would have to bend over. Um yeah, you're tortured about what options you should take, group one. Whatever those options are. That's what you're really keeping yourself up at night about. It's like, there's something happened that back in the day you now are coming to a realization about. And now it's slowly starting to come in your head like, fuck, what am I supposed to do with this? I have no idea. It's like, and, and I feel bad for Gemini because like, Gemini is like one of those signs where it's it like, if you ask them to do something at a certain time, it pisses them off because they don't even, because it's like, why would you do this to me? You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, they have to be spontaneity, have spontaneity, because if you try to set something for them, it flusters and frustrates the hell out of them. So you have to be careful. And I feel like that's kind of what happened with somebody right here. Like they had an option, like two choices put in their head and like someone was like, oh, God, I have no idea what, like, what are all these options? What can I look at from other sides? Like, Gemini have a problem with, like, making up their mind about something, right? It was, like, their biggest issue, I feel like. Also, remembering some of the stuff they do, I swear. Like, there's a Gemini I know who, like, he's cool. But he gets himself in the situations so that just makes me sit there like, ah, I could understand why you did that good serve, but I, 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 I don't know if I'd approve of actually conducting that action. But that's just me, right? Um, Page of Pentacles. Could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Could be a little girl. Could be a child of sorts. Could be just somebody who's immaturely trying to give out a promising pentacle. It's not as cool looking as the Queen of Pentacles. Who's, mind you, her pentacle looks way better than the King of Pentacles. Hers actually has way more detail because she cared. It's just nobody else cares. And it's annoying. <laughs> but, um, definitely feel like you need to come off guard when it comes to them. Like, there's an, their want and wish is to make a juvenile offer, but someone needs to let their guard down first in order to let that offer in. And down below, we have the Queen of Swords reverse. Could be Gemini, of course. Very disgruntled, hypercritical, talking nonsense, trying to make someone feel like shit <laughs> for just meddling them just slightly. And I will tell you, Gemini are really vicious. Like, they're, they're, like, the only people who I think could be meaner than a Gemini are cats, honestly. But cats don't even mean to be. They're just assholes by nature, right? But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Because you're, because the gem, the problem is, group one, is the Gemini is hypercritical because she's tortured. What's she tortured about? Weighing out these options. What are the options? Well, we don't know because something came out that she didn't think about until recently and now it's bugging her. That's the problem. Could also be in dealing with an Aquarius who's also mentally mind -fucked. Like, one can't lose sleep and one's just mentally tortured. Hmm. Then we got Queen of Pentacles, which is a fear. Capricorn's card, but also a Taurus or a Virgo. I want to say Capricorn definitely with the Queen of Pentacles in this one deck because, like, she has so much stuff to produce and nobody cares. Everyone's just like, oh my god, this is so boring. Like, she's so proud of her works, but nobody actually is, um, happy for her. They're all bored with her. Like, yes, we know. You got this accomplished yet again. And it's just kind of like, you know... Her shadow self has her eye down, like, oh, nobody cares. But her light side is all happy and cheery. Like, look what I made, everybody. She just wants someone to be proud of her for what she's done, really. Ooh, we got a book. What? Someone afraid that, like, the Queen of Pentacles is a magician? Or something like I am, like with my cards, like kind of a witch or whatever. Or are you afraid that you're going to be alone in your manifestations and no one's going to celebrate with you? This is pretty ground earth energy. This is like solitude. This is like being comfortable with what you've accomplished while nobody else gives a fuck about what it is you have accomplished, right? 
Then we have the Queen of Cups right here. It was reversed. Oh, uh, like I'm definitely keeping this one. Um, there was definitely a delay in offers because of sneaky behaviors, right? Which brought on the Tower moment, which is why she's pretending to be nicer than what she actually is. Like, all of this, like, false sweetness is just to get somewhere. Which eventually leads to the tower. It's like they're coming up pretending to be kind to this queen of pentacles. In order to, um... Like, she's pretending to get something that she wants. But it leads on to the Tower of Mammoth because someone already knows that they're coming out of this illusion. Like, if this person is pretending to be, um... Kind, you're seeing past the illusion because they've already done this before. That's what this is because this is the beginning and the end. When they start acting nicer than what they're supposed to be, that's the Tower moment because you recognize that behavior. That's like the trigger right there, right? Someone literally got tr 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 triggered, triggered. Like a bouncing tigger. Yeah, like someone recognizes that like as soon as this person starts putting on like a nice, happy show that they're actually up to something and that's why, wow. Okay, let's see. You can take this charger back if you want, baby. Okay. Oh, there's the ending key. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There's no new start in this, but have patience. Communicate. Speak. On why there's not going to be a new beginning, okay? Like, that's pretty much what that's saying. Like, there's no new energy. There's no new start. If there is something to begin, like, someone already fucked it up. Already advice cards. Like, I really feel like someone just recognized when someone's acting up. Kind of like with the Scorpio, right? Because that, like, kind of... Hey, baby. That's kind of like how it is with a Scorpio, you know? I knew a Scorpio once who, when he was nice to you, that meant his stinger was up and he was going to strike in one way or another. But when he was in a pissed off mood, you knew he was cool and you could deal with him. But it was when he was, like, his nicest when you had to be careful. Like, always be cautious of a Scorpio who's in a good fucking mood. I will just put that out there. Because they're scary as fuck. Like, they're evil. They are. But I like Scorpios. Because I'm a Capricorn. I can deal with that evil. But that's kind of like what that vibration is. It's like, someone finally picks up, wait, when they're acting like this to me, something's up. Something here does not work right. But this works still in group one, right? So, group one. Definitely trying to work on some things. Trying to get some stuff gathered up. Like I said earlier. Um, definitely trying to figure some things out. Hello, kitten. Trying to move this wheel forward on this situation. That's really what you want to do. You just want to move forward. Keep this energy up. That's what temperance is here for, too. Because that's also Sagittarian energy as well. You want completion in all of this. You're tired of guarding yourself. You're tired of uh, nonsense, I feel like. And there's a lot of hubris in this wish. One. To the point where um, someone's getting what they want, but behind the curtain, all of this crap's going on. Like this magician, Queen of Pentacles, or somebody using their own solitude to um, manipulate stuff and realizing that this person's being kind is actually the trigger for them. They're getting everything they want behind all this fucking chaos. Okay? Okay. So we're going to move on to group two. So group two, prepare thyself because we're snooping into what's going on with you. Right? Right. Right. Oh yeah, this is Gretchen. She's my gargoyle angel lady. She's pretty cool. 
She don't put up with shit. She's a redhead, but she's cool. At least I imagine her being redhead. I almost want to paint her, but not really, because I like the look on her, that rustic. But it's like, I wish they would have used a better paint, because her paint's coming off. Maybe I'll repaint her. That way, like, she doesn't look dirty. But I kind of like the dirty look. I think this is Soapstone. It kind of I wanted to name her Cthulhu, but she definitely said Gretchen, so... And I'm not about to argue with Reddit. Those people are scary. Oh my god. Okay. Group two, we are getting started with your half of the reading. In three, two, one. No hammies. Okay. Group two. We got for you Four of Swords. Justice reversed in the wants and wishes. Ew. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the Fears and Rejections. Strength, Reverse, in this situation. Three of Wands, in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. The catalyst and final result is making a decision with the Two of Wands. And the beginning theme for y'all is the Emperor, Control, Dominance, Adaptation. Manipulation shit. Being in control. Having a big head. Because that's what I see every time I look at him. But then patience though. This person's patient. So let's see what's going on. Someone wants to rest. God bless America. Someone wants to rest and relax. To rejuvenate and recoup themselves. They feel like they want to be buried. With their sword. With the four of swords. Or just not wanting to do anymore because all of their energy was taken away to feed something that just didn't serve them in the end some of the pentacles like whatever they invested in just didn't work out the way they wanted to now we got strength reverse with possibly leo or you just feel like you have to restrain yourself more than like what you're wanting when it comes to, like, bad behaviors, yeah, I, I, I kind of think you need to. Like, someone is holding back for... Someone's holding back when it comes to mind games, manipulations. They don't want someone walking away from them. Hmm. We got justice reversed in the wants and wishes. This is, like, bad karma, though. Like, someone doesn't think something's... Fair. Or they see something as unjust. Very weird. Or whatever they're wanting is um, bad karma for them. Not wanting to make a decision is bad karma. Like, which is like, or they don't think it's fair that they can't come to some sort of choice. And the obstacles, as well as the challenges coming against you, group two, is the three of wands. Should you continue on with this support system or should you let it go? You're contemplating that because the moon's shining down on these rods right here. That's emotion. That's what the moon represents. And there's emotional ties to these wands, right? So someone's definitely debating whether they should continue on this or not. Yeah, yeah, they're they're definitely contemplative. They should just move forward and just end it. That's literally like the meaning of that card anyway, but that's just solidifies where like someone's almost tempted to make a choice of whether to continue forward with this attachment or continue without it. It's one of the two. Um, that's the main obstacle. Either way, the wheel's going to continue moving whether you want it to or not. And if there is no choice to be made, that's made. If you don't make a choice, the universe might think that that's not the right thing to do. If I could talk today, that'd be creepy. You want in through? Hold on. Sorry about that. My love had to pass. All right, Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Someone genuinely offering love. Moving forward with that as well. That's in the fears and rejection, so like... Either you're afraid that even if you offer your cup, some... Wait. 
Cancer Rise of Scorpio. So this is automatically Cancer. All right, this could be a Cancer right here. Offering her love up. Willing to move forward to gain balance, to gain whatever. But somebody's afraid of that. It's just like, okay. <laughs> Someone is afraid of moving forward with love. And then we got the... Or there's someone else that's offering their cup and you're afraid to move forward with them. Or you're afraid they're going to leave without off while you offered that cup or whatever. Or they're just going to take off after offering that cup because you didn't have enough time to think about it. Or you didn't actually take the time to think about it. And then we have the decision right here with the two of wands. Ooh. Or you can get out of a shitty relationship. Something ended that wasn't good for either party and just ended up putting the devil in the middle of the both of you, right? Wait, you go here. What am I doing? Yeah, someone needs to make a decision about getting out of this really unhealthy relationship. Like they're restricting themselves from going after this person they manipulated almost. Like, someone still has love, but they know they gotta go. Because not making a decision is not a good choice. Okay. You can be, like, the first row. Yeah. Someone wants control of their happiness. Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Like, you can have everything here, but your head's big, so you aren't really, like... Paying attention to who you're stepping on down here. Like, you might be in control of that person's kingdom, but like if you keep stepping on the person, eventually you're going to squish their head, like in Kids in the Hall. And then it's going to fuck everything up. And yeah, some of it like they definitely like kerflunkled in, like uh, have some grief and loss in the situation. Either by unhealthy actions, either by like um, manipulations of sort. Either way, like someone did something. And it didn't come out right. What's the next device card? And yeah, this is definitely bothering the person to the point where they are mentally tortured. Like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to choose. Like I mean, it's obviously they don't know what to choose. And even if they don't choose, the wheel's going to move for them, and it's not going to probably end the way that like the universe wants it to. Because the universe decides what we want. Because the universe is a dick. And, ooh, someone might take off and the other person might be left in the cold with someone they don't even want to take care of, right? Fire sign might gallop out of the way and this person's just left here. Um, in the cold, wanting to come back in, but it's already too late because this person's already taken off, right? Right. Should have made that decision. Because now you're left with somebody you don't even want to take care of. I don't know. But that is your reading, Geminis. And people who associate with Geminis. Um, thank you for watching my video. And if you want a personal reading, just hit me up in my email in the description box below. Hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.